Uh, Mario, how would you have coped with that positional change that we're seeing from Alexander-Arnold? Oh, I like it a lot. I think, you know, look, we, we don't have to talk about him on the ball because everybody knows, you know, as defenders, you know, Stevie and myself, we both been, but, you know, and Frank, but just having a player that knows so much and has so much quality on the ball, that's a different level. But then it comes the other part. So I think pushing him in the middle of the park, it just helped everybody. It helped him in confidence and it helped the team in knowing you have someone there, you lay the ball off to him and he can distribute to positions that they normally can't because regardless whoever is playing there but then in the middle of the park I also felt like uh, you know the young boy Jones he stepped up okay of course he scored the two goals in the first game that they played against each other but today like it, it comes there was a moment where he went through and he had a time where people were like sometimes questioning um, his, his attitude you understand because he's so confident and so much believe in himself but today scoring two crucial goals um Gives him a momentum in the sense of because he always felt like I have to be part of this team. And I think this will move him closer to what he wants to achieve. So I enjoyed watching him. And for the rest, I mean, guys, come on, that free kick from Trent. Come on, we got to say something. Because when we go at him, when he's doing bad, people are talking about him. But I am the first to say, wow, what a goal was that, that free kick. Oh, my God. Whew. Can Curtis Jones keep this level up? Obviously impressed Mario and a lot of others today. Is he, is he a future starter for Liverpool? I, I wouldn't stick my neck out and say yes. Goodness me, he's missed the what? negative pass. Well, he just did... <laughs> I don't know what you want me to say. No, no, I, 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 <laughs> you should have told me before we started. No, 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 that's no, good. No, the start of next season is huge for Curtis Jones. Because Curtis Jones, in my opinion, is reaching the stage where he has to decide whether he's going to get in this team or not. Because he's been around for, what, nearly two years now? So it's coming to the stage, and we're actually all talking about Liverpool needs a new midfield, mm -hmm. and there's not one of us mentioned Curtis Jones, I don't believe, certainly don't remember. So if Curtis Jones can do in the future what he did today consistently, mm -hmm. then yes, he'll be in the team. But you don't think he can? I, I'm, I would suggest that they'll need to try and bring some players in in the middle of the park, but it's up to Curtis Jones to prove me, and, and more importantly, Jurgen Klopp wrong. Uh, as we mentioned, of course, that win today for Liverpool mathematically means they could still catch Newcastle and Manchester United for a place in the Champions League uh, next season. Uh, the bookies, actually, it's quite short, 11-8. to eight. They seem to think Newcastle uh, are going to drop points. Uh, let's just remind you, shall we, of the remaining games uh, that these three sides have. Liverpool just have those two matches remaining. Uh, that's Villa at Anfield and then away at St Mary's. Newcastle have got Brighton, Leicester, then they're at Chelsea. What do you think, Mario? Any chance we could see Liverpool catch either of these teams? Yeah, it, it, it's going to come down to one has to slip up, you know, and I think that that's what's going to be. Look, I, I always say, that, like the same way we talk, you know, saying I don't want to jump too quick to Arsenal, but you just want to finish your season as high as you can go. And the guys already jumped into it, you understand, they, they had the injury, then they lost the momentum. There was even a moment when I saw Klopp talking, and I hadn't seen that many times, interviews of him, where he couldn't really, um, find what the real problem was in his team. And now that you see them winning again, I saw him today even when um, one of his players should have released the ball and he got angry. Like back in the day, it was like, <laughs> you kind of let, he, he let the motions go. But I think now it's going to come down to see if someone slips up. But come on, Newcastle is the one that is, you know, definitely going for, um, I think this, this season they want to finish up well. Next season, I'm worried about them. Man United, because Ten Hag, this is his first time that he's handling a team like that. He does not want to slip up. So that's why the question is going to come to see, you understand, um, can they do it? And I, I, like the guys already mentioned, it's going to no. be really tough for them. Yeah, I think what well, they have to slip up twice, really, don't they? They can yeah. afford uh, to lose at least one match. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.